Has this week been uh, easier for you coming off of that uh, tremendous effort Sunday? You know what, Les? It was um, it was awesome Sunday uh, Sunday after the game. You know, to see all the guys excited and and really, uh, you know, they worked hard and and to get rewarded like that. But you know, really, uh, once Monday morning came around, you know, we've been looking at Jets and the Jets look good. You know, they're they're a good football team, so we're preparing for them. Coach, do you think you played the most physical game defensively of the year Sunday? Uh, you know, we, I thought we played we played well. I think we've had some other games that that we've played physical like that. The thing is to be consistent and do that every week. You had just come off games. You gave up a lot of points to New England, a lot of points to Seattle, and then you came out and obviously had a big game against Miami. What, what, what do you think happened in that interim there? Well, you know what? It's nice to have Nam and Dominic back, you know. I mean, those guys, you know, they're good football players, and it was nice to have them back. You know, and they made they made a difference. You know, I know we had um, a few sacks, and I think you know we've talked about sacks. You know that part of the quarterback getting sacked is is the coverage, the tight coverage. And I think that you know together, D line played a great game. The the secondary did a good job, and the linebackers did a good job of playing tight coverage so that the quarterback could hold the ball. A lot more blitzing in this game. Was that game plan specific one, or was that just more the, the evolution of this defense? Now you get more comfortable, you can throw. More I think things. just in time too. You know, for you know the thing is with how much time we've had. You know, and even Jim, Jim being new, and and everybody understanding what we do. You know, we really we tried to. We've added a, a little bit here and a little bit there. You know, in the coverage part and the blitz part. Um, you know, really almost every week. Uh, very efficient in the red zone. What what do they do so well down there? You know what they have. They have good players. You know that seventeen. You know I mean he's really. I mean we all know seventeen. You know we know Plexico from the, the Giant days. You remember when uh, you know Eli get in trouble and he just throw it up in seventeen. Right, Merrill? He come down. I mean how many times did he hurt us? You know so you know now he's playing for the Jets. He's doing the same thing and and Holmes. You know I mean. And I think he won a Super Bowl game in the end zone, you know, a couple of years ago. You know, so, I mean, those guys are special, and the tight end is pretty good, and they have really good backs. And then they have a couple of other receivers. You know, 88 is a big, tall target. So they have a lot of weapons down there. Well, to run it as well as they do, doesn't that help you a lot in the red zone to be consistent? Well, uh, yeah, and, and, you know, they try to run it. You know, they're a physical smash-mouth football team. And, you know, that's what, you know, Rex talks about. And, and that's the challenge for us. You know, our guys know that for us to be able to do that, it's just like everything else. We have to stop the run and get them to throw the football. Yeah, another guy who uh, broke up a couple passes against Miami, but he had had a couple of tough weeks before that. Why do you think consistency has been such a tough thing for him this year? I think part of that, John, is just growing you know and just learning and and experiencing things on the field i mean you figure you know when i look at nam and asante you know they you know they're able to talk the game and and do a good job well think about how many years they've been going you know i had a question for nam that was interesting you know i, I asked him about this guy that he worked with and he, and he said ah, juan you know what i can't tell anything about him because that was my first couple of years i really didn't know anything you know, and you know what, and it, that just sets everything in perspective. You know, now here's a guy that's been playing now and, and that understands the game, but he said, well, I can't tell you anything about this guy, you know, that was the coordinator because, you know, really I was young. I didn't really know much. You know, and coming from a guy like that, it's, you know, something that we know and we understand is you get that knowledge through experience. I mean, you could draw things up on the board and all those kind of things, but you, you have to experience it. Given that one, and you, you know a lot of young players yourself on this team, so... If it's their first couple of years, is it fair to assume that they might be having the same trouble now that Nnamdi did back when he was a rookie? Well, I think, you know, they're, they're young and they're getting better and better, but I think the experience helps them, you know, helps them get better, and I think that'll help them be more consistent, you know, as they see certain things, certain linebackers, blocking schemes, you know, and then just being able to recognize the difference between, a you know, a naked and a run is, is crucial. It'll be crucial this week with the Jets. You know, more. Go ahead. So I'm sorry, man. I was going to say, do you expect to have Colin Jenkins back? Um, you know, that's something probably you'd have to ask Coach Reed about, Merrill. I'm not, you know, it's, you know. How did 
Matthews did? Uh, you know what? Um, he was solid. He had some really good plays. You know, he had a sack. He did uh, well in in uh, in covering his coverage. Um, you know, just like uh, everybody else, you know, there's some things that I got to do a better job with him, putting him in positions. You know, um, they came out uh, a series and they were running the ball, and I was really, I thought they were going to throw it. So I didn't put him in a very good position. I have to do a better job with that. Yeah, it looked like they were running on your nickel in the second half. Yes. What can you do about that? Well, you know, it's just coverages, Les. You know, I mean, when you're playing two shell because you think they're going to throw the football, you know, I mean, shoot, they better be able to run it. But, you know, at that point, we were ahead. So, you know, I, I ended up playing a little two shell, you know, and I have to do a better job with that, mixing some single safety stuff in there. He played a lot. I mean, he played, I think, more than Jamar did. Was that just because you guys had the lead and you're going nickel, or are you trying to get him in there even more than your other You know, John, what it was, it was just because of the package. You know, it was that, you know, we were ahead and what they were playing, and then, you know, in a certain personnel that we used base and nickel, well, what they were doing is they were throwing the football more from that personnel, so we ended up using that package a little more. So is he, uh, is he further along in terms of pass defense than he is against the run? Well, you know what? Uh, I think you can you can probably say that for any young linebacker. You know, the hardest thing I imagine now. Now think about this. How much do you weigh? Uh, buck seventy-five. All right. Now imagine you going up against somebody. Let's say, let's put it right. You know, because Casey's about two forty. Offensive linemen are about three hundred. You know, so about, you know, imagine you going up against somebody sixty pounds heavier than you, and you got to take them on, and not just take them on, but you got to shed them, and then make the tackle. Well, you know what? That's not easy. So it's something that has to be learned. I mean, something that has to be taught. And then it takes time. It's a muscle memory deal. So it's a continual growing thing every week. And there's guys, you watch tape, tape there's guys that still haven't learned it. You know, so that's something that will just keep growing and he'll get better and better and better. But that's, that's tough for a linebacker. Your defensive line was so uh, tenacious uh, in that game. It was probably their best game, right, uh, as a line. Well, yeah, and you know, I think they had, I think they they tallied, I think six or seven sacks. I think two were from the linebackers. I think I think seven were from from them. Yeah, they, you know what, they play hard, less, you know. But I, you know, I, I want to say it's a team deal too, you know, because you know when you go and you look, and if a quarterback's throwing it on five plant and five hitch, you know, Peyton Manning or some of those guys, I don't care what rush you get, they're not getting there. So then what happens is. It's the coverage part that has to get him to hold it to two hitches. And you say, well, why do you make such a big deal about it, Juan? Because it's a team. You know, it's like the, the back end has to know, too, that, hey, wait a minute. When the quarterback is, is throwing five plan or five hitch and the D-line's not getting there, well, it's not the D-line's fault. Hey, you guys in the back end, you better take care of that. You better make the plays or get them to hold it, Merrill, you know, so that the D-line can get there. And really the, the good D-line's, the good D lines, all right, the quarterback hitches twice. You're going to hit him or you're going to sack him. That's the, you know, those are the good, great D lines. You know, so it's not something that you're saying. It's just something that, you know, being on the other side of the ball, I understand that. And then everybody knows that they have a responsibility. Last and so we work together. You guys watched uh, fights last week, uh, boxing? <laughs> you have to ask Coach Reed about that, you know. He thinks that he might not play this year, that maybe they're, you guys want to protect him, prevent him from more injury. Is that the case? Are you worried about getting him re-injured? And maybe you know what? I think the injury part, John, you have to talk to uh, Coach Reed about that. You know, I, I know he's out, out there, and I know he's going to work hard today and get prepared to play. Playing the most that he's played this season, what has he done so well? You know what? Uh, he's done a great job in practice. You know, that's where, you know, we saw him work against Todd Harriman and, and Jason Peters, and those are two good, two of the best tackles in the, in the NFL. So, you know, watching him go against those guys, we felt that, you know, God, man, this guy, you know, I mean, he, he's got something, you know. Coach Washburn likes him a lot, and Coach Reed, watching him go against those guys all the time, that, you know what, this guy's got a little something to him. Let's see what he's got. And he, and he did a good job. When you see Brad out there, does he look like he's in, in game shape? Well, you know, again, you have to look at the kind of injury that he had, you know, and, and go back into the history. And, you know, I think Coach Reed talks about that, 
you know, and, and, and Rick, and they're better qualified to talk about that. You know, I just know that Rick talks to me about that. Coaches, coaches mentioned to me about that kind of injury, but you, you'll have to talk to those guys about that. What about learning the defense? Has he been able to pick everything up? I mean, not having training camp? And you know what, that's the hard part because, you know, you see that, you know, it, 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 it is different alignments different landmarks and and that takes a little bit of time i think you see our guys you know that there was a play on tape where at the beginning of the season you know they got us with that play and now you, um uh, miami tried to run the same play and it was a negative play you know just because of the fundamentals you know where brandon right now he's not as far along as the other guys because he hadn't been able to work